I've already seen a, a metric app kind of super chats comes in, but they're all waffling around one subject. And I think that we can all guess what that subject is. So why don't we just start with the big question? Joshua, what the holy hell is going on with this election? Who is going to win? Because it's because I mean, like people think like, you know, the media has declared for Joe Biden. Joe Biden has declared himself the president elect. But the fact of the matter is, is that no states have certified the votes. And and the fact is that Trump has a lot of legal battles that he's fighting on any given front. And it could very well be Trump. In fact, in the past uh, two days or so, the betting odds, which if you want, like, the best predictors of what might happen. You look at people that are actually spending money on it, right? So the betting odds for Trump actually winning have dramatically closed in the past couple of days. I think it used to be like 24 to one that he was going to pull it off. And then and I looked the other day and it was like 13.5 to one. So it, it's moving in Trump's direction. So let's let's get your, your psychic update on what is going on with the election. What is the best question that we can ask to get a good answer? I think what is going on, what what is going to happen with the election, I think is a good overview. And then we can zone in and drill down to any, anything specific. All right. So, yeah, that sounds good. It, yeah. If you ask what, that, it would be helpful. What is going on with the election? And tell me when I should stop shuffling the cards. Stop. <laughs> okay. So five of swords, as we know. Oh god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, so so for people in the chat that don't know, Joshua has literally pulled the five of swords every single time we've looked at this election ever. <laughs> It's like the old maid. I want to like take it out of the deck so nobody loses. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, so five of swords is essentially, you know, what's going on with the election was your question or what's going to happen. Well, with right now with five of swords, you know, there's definitely underhanded tactics, people going for the win lose result. Um, nine of discs though uh, is really interesting. This is about hitting the mark. So um you know, this is about a really, really good catch, like something that is really a good catch that is that is happening here. So um, I feel that, you know, the state of the election, I think it's going to make on, on a whole, um, particularly, I think you and your audience, it would seem as if things are definitely flowing in a better direction with the nine of discs. Um, I think that they will determine that there has been fraud with mm -hmm. the there and then with three of wands this is about virtue so i think that there's going to be something else that comes about that's going to be irrefut irrefutable proof that there has been tampering there's been fraud that even the media cannot deny that is really I well that's that i think is good news can we can we psychic can we psychic if trump is going to make it to a second term yeah i think that's a great question and do me a favor and just say that again for me. Is Trump going to make it to a second term? And someone I should stop shuffling the cards. Stop. If you pull the five of swords again, I swear to fucking God. <clears throat> five of swords. Motherfucker! <laughs> are you shitting me? I swear to God. Yeah. How many cards are there in a tarot deck? 78. And you have pulled this card literally every single time we've asked this question in the last like couple of weeks. Well, you know what I think? Honestly, I don't think you're going to like this very much. Oh, but no. I think uh, I'm going to say it anyway. I mean, the Democrats aren't the only ones that are employed right now in underhanded tactics. That's what I'm going to say. So it's a matter of it's it's almost like, OK, 
My example is this. If we are playing baseball together, right, and we're competitors, and you are on steroids, well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to get on steroids too. If you're my competitor, I have no choice, right? You're on steroids. I have to be on You steroids. know what? I don't even care. I don't even care if the Republicans are cheating. I don't even care. I don't care. I'm going to lay, I'm going to put that stake in the ground. I do not care. Yeah. I know that's not um, good and that's not patriotic and whatever. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, again, it's sort of a matter of, you know, if you're cheating, I'm cheating. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of understand your point there. Um, with the devil card, um, this is about manifestation. Was your question, what did your, was your question? Was Trump going to win? Will Trump make it to a second term? The way these cards are showing, I would say yes. Which, <laughs> yeah. Trump we have is a like the ultimate card. manifestor. We have a judgment card here. Wow. And the devil, I mean, the devil manifests. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the devil makes stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? He has some people in some very high places, and I think that he's pulled out the big guns now. Oh, yeah, I think he's definitely pulled out the big guns. I don't think Trump is screwing around. And I think, like, the thing that's so interesting to me about this is Trump seems totally calm. He seems totally relaxed. He was playing golf the other day when the media declared that Biden was the president. He just fired the secretary of defense. He's cleaning house. At the, like, like, why would he be cleaning house at the DOD if if he was anticipating, like, someone coming in and replacing him? Because it, wouldn't, it just wouldn't make any sense. He'd be like, you know, there'd be no, there'd be no point. So, you know what it might be, Carlin? What? It's like, like you know when, um, it's like you 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 use your, um, well, when you're playing cards, isn't there like some card that you play when you're like, okay, well, I have to use this. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like The Trump card. The Trump card. He's playing the Trump <laughs> card. <laughs> You know, OK, so what I'm getting is that there's some information, proprietary information that Trump has that he's been sitting on for this moment in time. So it's almost like, you know, even like when you're dealing with different people, you're like, I'm not going to bring this up. You know, I'm not going to like stoop to that level, but I have it right here in my back pocket <laughs> and I will, if you push me, take it out. And I think that's the Trump card. And I think that there's some stuff that he's going to reveal and i don't think it's going to be very pretty at all this is going for talk about the win-lose result and i've always said this about trump he never fires the first shot but if you screw with him he'll hit you back three times as hard and that i respect mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well i think it feels good i i didn't tell you like i was feeling really down about everything for like the last for like the first three days after the election i was like oh it's gonna suck the next i was like being all doom and gloom and then, you know, I don't know, something happened the other day where it just, it, it, it felt to me like the energy shifted. And all of a sudden I was like, Trump can actually do this. Trump is absolutely going to do this. And, and, you know, in the last day, I've been completely positive that Trump is going to turn this around. Now I could be wrong and maybe I'm setting myself up for disappointment and I really don't want to do that. But it just, it felt to me like everything was moving in exactly the right direction. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I see it as manifestation. Um, <clears throat> I hope I'm not interpreting it wrong. And I hope the energy flows that way. But I think that he's going to. It's so interesting because you would think that he that both of them slung all of their mud during the election, but not Trump. Like he um, he really it's just really interesting. Like he has levels and levels and levels of stuff that he can throw at people. You know what I mean? Well, like, good. Yeah, I think he has dossiers on like every single person that he knows. Oh, I'm sure he does. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you this. And and we have a metric F ton of super chats to get to, so so we'll get there in one sec. But I'll tell you this. If Trump pulls this off, I am not going to be diplomatic in my revelry. I'm not. I really am not. I'm gonna throw this in the face of absolutely everyone that I've been hearing from for the last week. And I'm going to love every single minute of it. I'm gonna be like the least diplomatic person that I've ever been in my flipping life. And I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Well, I think that, you know, it's out of the fat and into the fire. I mean, it's sort of like, you know, we have a, a conjunction going on Saturn and Jupiter, uh, the 21st of December on the solstice. Um, 
the uh, yeah the winter the winter is it solstice? No, it's um yeah. So um, the twenty first of of December. So it's just really interesting. Some some people are predicting big old problems like civil war. You know, I haven't gone there yet, but um, I, I gotta we have to look at what this actually means. Like if Trump were to have the vote overturned and uh, he won re-election, I mean, can you just imagine? I mean, what what does that entail? What, what are your thoughts on that? How would that play out? Oh, world? I think it would be an epic meltdown. And I think like I think what we've seen since everyone thought that Biden won the election is that people were calm. There was no rioting. They everyone like everyone on the left expected the right to riot because they assumed that the right was like the left, but the right would never have rioted. The right was never the, that that's that's just not their jam at all. And if it got overturned, oh my God, we would see riots everywhere. It would be an epic meltdown. And I absolutely think that if People are predicting that there's going to be civil unrest and possibly even a civil war, which, you know, I'm not rooting for at all. But the only way that happens is if Trump overturns the result that they think they got, even though it was never the result they got. It has not been certified. It is not official. They made an assumption. The media played into it. This is going to be the if, if we experience civil war, it will be a direct result of what the media has done to this country. It will be all on the media as far as I'm concerned. Right. But just to say that if. Trump is moving forward in this. And as you say, he's very confident as as the president. He is responsible for doing what he can to curtail the outbreak, um, the the effects of this, you know, to protect his citizens. So I think that the onus really does fall on him, um, that he needs to do whatever he can to make sure that he minimizes the civil unrest that this entails. And that means but I would think bringing in the military. Um, you know, like, for instance, like Portland, like, why did they say no to the military coming in that wheel? Well, guy? Why did he say no? Because Trump was offering it and they didn't want to give Trump a win. That's why, because any any Trump victory, like if, if Trump had sent in the military, it would have squashed the problem, just like what happened in like Lancaster. And then Trump would have gotten a win that he could have used in reelection. I absolutely think that you know, Trump threatened to use the Insurrection Act before. I absolutely believe that if he gets over this, if he gets inaugurated for a second term, he will absolutely invoke the Insurrection Act to stop this nonsense. I but really, I really do believe that. I hope you're right, because I, I feel that I think that's sort of like the issue. Like, I think a lot of people in some respects, it was like bittersweet. OK, you know, Biden won. Well, at least now we have peace. What kind of world is this that we 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 want to appease people that we're going to cower because we don't want rioting, we don't want looting? Screw that! This is America. So my concern is that if there is stuff that is done, you know, the the right, excuse me, the left is not going to sit back and just take it. Like there will be heads blown off. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. my my concern is I, I I really need Trump. We need Trump to act quickly if things do get overturned, because literally the second that that vote is announced or that decision is announced, there will be problems. So if he's responsible and he's worth the salt, and I do think that he is, he will be poised to take action to make sure that the citizens of the United States are safe and that we don't have to kill each other in order to stay safe. I 1000% I agree.